Hello, Leo. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Leo, the song that was playing when I was shuffling your cards is Jungle by Drake. The lyrics stuck out to me. It said, um, the things I can't change are the reasons you love me. Listen, you can hear him calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Now, that could be your Leonesque-ness, okay? As far as, you know, Leo's being able to be the center of attention, being very good looking, having a lot of options, a lot of suitors, things like that. And not being ashamed of it. It could be that the person that you're dealing with has either that same clout or is the one with the clout. Something like that, right? The other thing that stuck out to me was she said, you're my everything. I love you through everything. And I done did everything to her. <laughs> she forgave me for everything. This a forever thing. I hate that I treat it like it's a whatever thing. Trust me, girl. This shit means everything to me. Right? Take that how it resonates. <laughs> the song that's playing right now is called Reasonable Doubt. So we're going to look at what's going on in the subconscious mind of Leo. We have a wealthy man. Some of you may have your money on your mind. Okay. Some of you may already be in this position. So why is wealthy man here for Leo? Swords, swords. Some of you may be thinking about ending something or something that ended. What's, what's the world card? This could be a relationship, marriage. Some of you are in your emotions about going back to this relationship. There's the King of Cups in the reverse. Maybe you all are still healing from this as well. It could have been a third party involved in this situation that this ex found out about. There was some juggling going on here. Someone may have explored the idea mentally of ex like of exploring other options. Or someone may have waited or, you know, kind of like went back and forth for a while with, should I just move on from this? Some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini or Virgo. Someone decided to leave due to trust issues. I need to move in a more stable direction. And this situation is no longer satisfying me. So it looks like the feminine energy was the one who withdrew in this situation and walked away and gave up on the masculine. We end this with the King of Pentacles, this wealthy man. Hmm. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all, says the wealthy man on his high horse. Right, but the Queen of Pentacles may beg to differ. This is she's the one who was unhappy here, she's the one who detached, she's the one who slowed this thing down because this King of Pentacles was a King of Wands, actually. This wasn't, um, because you know, the King of Pentacles can represent someone who is stable, someone who's a father, someone who's a businessman, someone who's a husband. But the King of Wands is that, you know, 
passionate, entrepreneurial, single, bachelor type of energy, but it, it's, it's, it's different than this, this relationship type of energy that the King of Pentacles, like the stability that a King of Pentacles can bring into place, right? So, in the conscious mind of Leo, we have adjudication. Why is this here for Leo? Some of you are carrying too many things, too many responsibilities, too many bags. There's something that's become too much for you to move forward, right? Some of you are feeling burdened by, what is this Ten of Cups? Some of you have been presented with something that could be very fulfilling for you. Or some of you are burdened by a decision of like What is this? Something that hasn't ended yet with an X. It's like an unfinished chapter, Queen of Pentacles. This could be a wife who's not communicating with you. I feel like you would like Hmm. For some of you, it's like this person that you didn't tell your wife about. Maybe you were waiting trying to avoid a disaster. Somebody here could have made, had left someone waiting, didn't tell them something so they could go back and resolve something else before they actually walked away. So it was like somebody walked away from something before it was actually over and caused a lot of stress on themselves. It's like before something was over. I just feel like if someone were to go back to resolve a situation, it would develop a third party situation, right? It's like, do I work on it or do I let this go? Somebody's overthinking, should I go back to something? But somebody here is heartbroken over an offer that was made that somebody didn't take accountability for. It's like the reason for this breakup. So I feel like you've been holding back maybe on something here. There are two queens. I can't really take action on either one. There's one who a relationship failed with, but there's still love here. There's still, it's like we've moved on from it, but we still keep our eye on it maybe. Or maybe we're not looking back at this. We've moved on from this. And maybe this is you. It could be a same-sex relationship, but it also could be that there was two people. This was the conflict. And maybe we just need some space to really sit back and be able to make a sound decision on whatever this is. Make a sound judgment. A lot going on here, Leo. What else can you tell me? There's a desire to go back to something. 
But I think what needs to be addressed is what does that desire actually look like? Or what does that something actually look like? It's almost like a, it's borderline obsession. It's like something that I'm disappointed in. There's an urge for a return or to make a phone call or there's something here. But that you're being called to walk away from something, Leo. But because there's love, there's hesitation. Somebody's having a difficult time moving on from a connection. But I feel like the truth is that, that there was something here. We've been overthinking it, but it was meant it, it was meant to end. Somebody may be burdened by how much they put into this situation. Having to start over again seems like a lot. Or would I just be introducing myself to another heartbreaking situation? Something like that. Let's see what your higher conscience is saying, Leo. We have Thief in the Reverse. Why is Thief in the Reverse, for Leo? I think you'll see by that by avoiding whatever this is or whoever this is, that is what's going to put you back on the right path. It's a certain connection. Something that maybe you haven't been able to trust about this connection. There's been sirens going off in your spirit telling you to stop. There's something here. Let go. Because something's not allowing you to think clearly anymore. Maybe we weren't listening to ourselves when we saw the amount of, you know, give and take that was going into this relationship. Was I really happy with with what I was getting from this relationship? Or, do, is, or is this something that I need to get over? And really let go of. Someone's indecision, hesitation, or procrastination is what ended this relationship and caused a lot of wounds. Someone was in, had one foot in and one foot out. And maybe, maybe that was you kind of feeling hesitant because there was something going off in your spirit, Leo. But I feel like somebody's going to blow the whistle on whatever it is that you've been overthinking. You couldn't quite figure it out. Am I being done wrong? Is this something that needs to end? Something like that. Something with this X energy or this past energy where there's been a slowdown. Some kind of fail happened here with them. Y'all two aren't talking. It's like, But it's something about if it's not done. Or have I been done wrong by this person? It's burdening someone. Because I feel like there's still an emotional attachment. This could have been someone that you lived with. But I feel like there's... What is that? Your intuition is telling you to walk away from somebody who ain't loving you the same way that you're loving them. Whatever this is that you've been holding on to, but nothing's really happening with it, or you two are not communicating anymore. There's something here about that, and it's been a repetitive pattern between the two of you. It may have been a lot of on and off. It's time to move on. 
Leo. And find that... Find that... Um, find you. Get to a place where you feel stable and grounded within yourself. Because I feel like you've been trying to... It's almost like you've been in two different worlds. And that's exhausting. If you've been in two different worlds or if your person was trying to live in two different worlds. That's exhausting for anyone. So, Leo. Let's see. advice for Leo. One more. You've been hesitant on making an offer. There's a reason that you were holding back from communicating something because there was someone from the past that you were still tied to. It's what this says. Could be reversed, right? There was a decision that needed to be made that wasn't being made. But that decision is to... You need to take control. End whatever it is that hasn't that you haven't allowed to end yet. Whatever this connection was over here that ended probably due to infidelity. I feel like this was holding you back from whoever this empress is. Offering something new to this person or them offering something to you. The mutual energy between the two of you is the Nine of Cups. This is a mutual desire. This is happiness. But what was standing in between and stagnating things for the two of you was an ex. This could be a divine counterpart, Leo, whoever this person, this other person is. The way that that spread just fell. So I'm going to leave you with this, Leo. Time to start living in the present. Burn the candles, use the nice sheets, wear the fancy lingerie. Don't save it for a special occasion. Today is that occasion. I'm gonna I'm gonna read you one more. That also was in Gemini's reading. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength, while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Somebody in this relationship was emotionally unavailable to the other person. So something couldn't quite get off the ground because there was something there was something in the past that was keeping it from happening. So take it how it resonates. I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. If you would like a personal reading, check the description box for that. Thank you so much. I love you, Leo, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.